what was meant for kids but adult consumers hijacked it and ruined it. After school hobbies. Around the age of 47, I decided to pick up guitar again. So I went to a local school and enrolled as an adult. I would see parents harassing their kids and berating them for not being better. I think the majority of them have lost the idea that extracurricular activities are to help your child out of their shell, and also to have fun. Not to make them a professional of any sort or the best of the best of the best. Build a bear as a former employee I don't care if you came in and bought some stuff animals. Hell, there's some cool ones like Pokemon. However just cause I work there doesn't mean I have a whole collection myself and watch every show and movie that's partnered with the company. Yes I was an adult man working at a stuffed animal store. Yes I bought a couple Pokemon for myself. No I don't wanna hear another grown man passionately talk to me about my little pony and please I don't want to see a cutie mark tattoo. You have on your ASS cheek even I if there's no kids in the store currently. Squishmallows, people trying to resell these literal stuffies for 3x the price online. Pokemon cards. Scalpers were so down horrendous they were raiding McDonald's during the pandemic. Every card hobby. It's literally just about prices now. Minions. Childhood. Parents who film their kids' lives for likes and subs are shitty. Tricks. Beanie Baby Collectors. YA Books. I'm an adult that reads them. But the characters are teenagers. People get upset that teenagers act like teenagers, in books targeted at. You guessed it, teenagers. Youth Sports. When I was a kid 30 years ago, you'd have a practice or two a week, plus a game on Saturday. Then if you loved sports, you'd get together with buddies in your ample free time and mess around playing super fun pickup games. Now, many kids are having full weekend tournaments like every weekend. And tons of practices. They rarely have the free time to just play with their friends for the fun of it. Sure they are better athletes than we were, but are they better off? Pretty much any kid's toy. The scalpers are working harder than ever to fuck it up. Video games? Check. Pokemon whatever is popular cards? Check. Lego sets? Check as fuck. Fuzzy egg Furby like critters? Check check. If scalpers can leech money out of people with it, they'll do it. The word daddy. Harry Potter vibrating broomstick. My Little Pony. Hot Wheels. McDonald's. Remember when it was all colorful with dumb character mascots and playgrounds? Boobs. Ball pits at the arcade. Pretty much any fandom aimed at kids. The main one that comes to mind is My Little Pony. Dudes in their 40s obsessing over and sexualizing these characters is about the creepiest thing I can think of. Getting autographs from athletes at games. Well. If you believe paying thousands of dollars for a comic book is being ruined in some way. I would say comics. The ruined part would depend on who you ask. Facebook was meant for college kids. Mexican child parties I kick smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. Toy collecting. Just grown adults creating a giant industry that produces nothing but landfill bait. Bluey. Even though it's always been a fantastic show, and still is I watch it with my nephew but he's really just an excuse to watch it without being judged, it's that good there's always depraved people who make things weird. Sports cards. Pokemon cards. Paper roots I had a morning route when I was growing up. It taught me so much about being responsible. And now grown-ups have taken them over. They've taken what was three roots for three kids, put the M together and do them with their car. Cabbage Patch Kids. Boy Scouts. The Minion Franchise. Very popular with German 40-year-olds. Hot Wheels. I work in the toy department of a major retail store. 
Hot Wheels collectors are the worst customers we get. My Little Pony. Bronies are cringe weirdos. I would say just the collectible market as a whole. I love collecting Transformers, but anytime I want to get the hot new figures, everyone and their mother has already pre ordered five each to scalp, and the pre order sells out literal seconds after it starts. I just want my goofy robot toy, can you kindly fuck off? I'd say Earring Magic Ken, but I don't think all the gay men buying it ruined it. They made it more awesome. Trading cards. I can't even get a pack of basketball cards for the kids, next beards buy every single one in search of the unicorn. Social media. Started as a things for teenagers and college kids mostly, and is now just a political apparatus money-making machine that brings out the worst, most self-centered and greedy characteristics our species has to offer. Most TCGs. I liked My Little Pony when I was nine years old and older people at school used to bully me for it, and through them I found out about bronies older men who like My Little Pony and this thing called Klopp so I stopped drawing ponies and watching the show. Literally everything teenage girls do. YouTube content creation. Not to say the medium is strictly for kids obviously, but family channels have essentially monetized their childhoods when those same kids could have just as likely decided to make their own content when they got older, and weren't obligated to participate in being filmed. Having no choice in the matter probably takes the fun right out of it. Not to mention growing up and coming to realize it had all been for your parents' monetary gain. The obvious answer to this. The future. Squishmallows.